Today's COVID update is brought to you by Fultech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. Thank you for joining us. It is a lovely Wednesday morning. We've got our topic, or we were actually kicking, uh, kicking things off with uh, Belize's Film Commissioner on a webinar series, Managing Expectations for Film Production. We've got on the screen none other than the Film Commissioner himself, Nigel P. Miguel. Mr. Miguel, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Open Your Eyes. Good morning, Belize. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for uh, having me here today. I'll tell you what, it's so nice to have you in with us. Uh, you've got a good backdrop there, nice painting. But let's get on into it. Managing expectations for film uh, production. We're in the time of COVID. Um, it is a pandemic that's looming over the world, and it seems that uh, there is no end to it for the time being. But I'll tell you what, one of the things that it has done for a lot of people, it puts them in a different state of mind. It, it, you know, it, it gets people out of their, out of the norm and put them into a new norm, which means that online will be doing some brand new things. Some people are actually getting into filming. Some people are actually getting into, uh, into singing, doing art, and lots of stuff. But filming is actually what we're about to uh, venture off into. So what do you mean by managing the expectations? W what is that? What are we talking about there? Well, the main thing is that this pandemic has come and it will go, but after it goes, there will be some changes uh, to our industry and to a lot of industries, but specifically the film industry. And managing expectations, the webinar is for us to be able to take advantage of those changes. Because some of the things that used to be a detriment to us in here in Belize, the size, the newness and all that, actually everybody's starting out new now. So we're at the front of the line and this allows us to actually to be able to take advantage of this situation. So. That's why with this webinar, we will need to manage the expectations of folks coming into the country to film or to film remotely. But then as a commission, we need to be able to manage the expectations of our professionals, our industry professionals, to tell them where and how they need to bring their um, level of expertise up or stay, keep the status quo or pull it back a little bit. So, so let's let's step back a bit because you know th there's absolutely no sector, no industry that um, that hasn't been impacted by this pandemic. That they haven't had to readjust or completely rethink their way of doing business, and and the film industry is no different. Um, talking on 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 a global level. Um, what are some of the direct impacts that you've seen? One, people aren't going to movie theaters. I know um, there have been suspension of production for shows and, and uh, TV programs and films. Um, tell, me, tell me the impact from your perspective, and especially for us here in Belize. Okay. Globally, uh, the industry has somewhat been shut down, except for what you see productions or projects that were taped before uh, the pandemic. Yeah. For us here directly in Belize, that is a lifeline because most of our productions come from our, our, our country. So people aren't coming in, uh, the locals aren't getting hired. It, 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 it's affecting many of our um, businesses, hotels, uh, restaurants, the small business people, the vendors. So it, it, it hit us hard. Um, within the commission, January and February, our numbers were up. And we had numerous productions coming in March, April, May. So like I said, we were primed for a breakout year. That so we had bookings said, of people coming to Belize to shoot. And oh, that yes. no longer happened, yeah. Yes, numerous bookings. Um, and that, you know, we're a small industry. So when you actually put something in the books, even though you know in the back of your mind, ah, they could cancel it, whatever. Your mentality is, we're doing this. And sometimes that money that's to be made has already been spent. Yeah. So there, there are numerous adjustments that go on in that person's psyche and the industry. Yeah. But in saying that, we're coming back. Uh, the show must go on, is what they say in Hollywood. And the show will go on. Yeah. I just want our industry professionals to be able to take advantage because 
we are truly at a level playing field now with this new uh, new normal, as they call it. Hmm. So this is a time, a chance for Belize to actually have a leg up. So that's why we're trying to do these weekly webinars with industry professionals, global professionals telling us, well, we want to come into Belize. We want to come here. This is what we're looking for. This is what will need to be done. Um, so and there, there are two levels, really, because there is adjusting to life in the pandemic and then preparing for life after the pandemic. Um, you know, I, I, of course, we have our experience here. First of all, you're joining us virtually. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've, we've all learned to readjust expectations, even in terms of, um, you know, you're asking people to set up a mini studio in their home, whether with their laptop or phones. And so we've also had to kind of mentally adjust to what we would have as our norms. Is it the same in the film industry? Definitely. Um, I mean, you guys are part of the, let's just say the bigger picture of the media, yeah. maybe not, not the film industry, but media. Mm -hmm. And this, this has become a norm, us, us doing stuff virtually or us doing stuff online. And um, there are some platforms that actually allow you to direct remotely. So you actually set something like this up in your production mm -hmm. and your director could be in another part of the world. And let's say this is a commercial. The mm -hmm. ad agency is in another uh, uh, part of the world and local crew production in front of the camera, behind the camera actually do everything. Oh, wow. And that's what, this is what we're, we're, we're set for. Today's, um, topic we'll talk a little bit on that and how we can be ready when those things happen because mm -hmm. it's it's coming mm -hmm. and i i strongly believe that you know we, we've done a lot of work over, over the years yeah. um and we have some great talent time. in belize as well i mean so it's also just getting the people who already possess the talent to get ready for what will maybe the new way of um of functioning you know, the example I think you just gave is perhaps, uh, it, it's really exciting to think of because it shows that there can be some sustainability um, even while we're asked to stay so far apart. There, there, there will be sustainability, but again, it's just that adjustment because our industry is people to people. It, it's touching. It's, yeah. it's somebody getting an emotion out of what's on screen. Yeah. Now that can still be, we, we're, we're still able to do that but it's, it's one step removed now. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's just a slight adjustment. And what, what I wanted to say earlier is that, you know, we here at Niche and the uh, Ministry of Education, um, we put a lot of stuff into it. And again, we, you know, not knowing the pandemic, nobody knew this was gonna happen, yeah. but we have to be able to adjust after. Yeah. You know, we took the blow, everybody did. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we come up out of the blow? And this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to resurface with a plan so that everybody feels comfortable here in country because we've been very blessed not to have a huge amount of cases mm -hmm. but for us to open up or to be able to open up have the proper safety protocols in place bring a certain amount of people in but still function that, that that's needed now when it happens you know that's above my pay grade, but we all know that. <laughs> but uh, you know, one of the things that I, uh, what I, that I think is a bind for this is the, um, is how comfortable you are as the, as the commissioner, and for the fact that you're, you're actually, you, you know, you, 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 you could see it coming, and that's one of the things that I, that I really appreciate and admire about the film industry in, in Belize. Um, you're networked. Uh, you know, you've, you've got your, you've got your people in places. How, especially for Belize, Belize we, yes, we did get some cases, about 18 cases, uh, which might be, which is, of course, a blow, but not as big as our uh, surrounding countries. From your perspective and uh, the conversation that you've been having with your network, what are they saying in terms of the attractiveness of Belize being um, one of those best places to uh, do some work? Belize right now is very attractive, and, and that's, that's what... Uh, we're trying to get it across. Now it's attractive because the people in power, the higher ups have done done their job. And we as Belizeans, we follow the protocol. So we're to be commended. Um, I, I, I don't want to belittle 
the fact that we did lose two lives and, and yeah, you know, yeah. Understood. That, that's very devastating to me. And my condolences goes out to those families who lost people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were very fortunate, very fortunate. Now, taking the other step to where we're talking about business and the opportunity to take advantage of that. Police, outside, outside of police in the industry, people are looking, people are calling. When can we come or what can we do? Yeah. So the opportunity is there for us to take advantage because our neighboring countries, they've all had larger numbers. They've had a more serious uh, situation. Very much so. Yeah. So, so there's a dance, or I'm, I'm sorry, there's a balance. Yeah. How, how fast do we let people in, or how do we let people in? And yeah. with our local industry people, how can we position them to be able to, to take advantage of these things that are coming, like I said, from the remote productions, from, yeah. like I said, the direct to being outside of country, but still yet us as Belizeans taking on the bulk of the, of the production. So Nigel, tell us, the, the um, webinar series that uh, you guys are, or you have initiated, you're doing it on a weekly basis. What are some yes. of the topics you guys are looking to cover? Okay, the, the, the first one today, which, which takes place at 10 Belize, mm -hmm. 10 a.m. Belize time, we're talking about expectations. That, that, that's the first thing. With production companies, the change, the modern production, how is it going to be moving forward? Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, next week is about location scouting um, from a, what is it, um, a, another jurisdiction. So we will actually set up uh, the opportunity or, or, or the photos or the location, and they will view it just like we're talking here um through zoom mm -hmm. uh the, the third one is um an ad agency i'm having a big adage ad agency come in a gentleman mm -hmm. by the name of peter friedman will be hosting that mm -hmm. from uh formerly from mccann erickson which is a, a huge global ad agency and they will sort of set uh the platform or, or set the ground rule for bringing in commercials and the fourth will be from our local professional, uh, Mr. Michael Singh, yeah. who is part of the task force for um, for our country, for the pandemic. And he will set what we have in place and show us how it will assist us or how that will assist us in the industry. It's all gearing us uh, to open up. And then in July, we'll start another um, weekly um, group. And these will be with specific production who are coming here to police after uh, the pandemic breaks. So you're not just targeting uh, Belizeans. You're, you're hoping that it will be uh, people from, or filmmakers from all over the world. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It, it's, what, it's important. I'm, I'm sorry. It's important that people from around the world see that we're doing this because that's where the jobs come. Yeah. But it's important that Belizeans know that jobs are coming, so they have to gear up and get ready. Yeah. Because we're thirsty here, we're hungry here, man. I, I, I see it, I talk, I feel it. We as a commission just want to be able to deliver. Mm. And like we, we, I'm, we were geared. And, and again, this, this pandemic that happened is bigger than just the commission. But at the end of the day, jobs, opportunity is what we're trying to do here in police. Yeah. Because we're ready. Now, I saw, I saw some of the topics that uh, you guys will be discussing. And actually, you know, I think it's interesting you talk about um, uh, checking out locations remotely. And, and it's, it's one of the interesting things that's kind of, um, I think the last time you, you were here, or maybe a year or two ago, we talked about this already. Um, has this has the pandemic created the opportunity to take ideas like virtual scouting and make it become the norm? Um, because before people were hesitant, maybe they wanted to come to Belize, do their own turnaround to see what it looks like, while now they'll have to rely on, on whether it's a VR set or, or some other form of, of um, video to be able to see what they'll be able to get. Yes, 
they will have to. Um, and that's where the trust factor comes in. Yeah. So these type of uh, things that we're doing with the webinar, it, it allows people to trust us as an industry professional. That's why people from abroad will tap in and they will see or hear the questions that our local professionals will be asking. Because how the uh, webinar is set up, we will talk for 30 minutes with that industry professional from abroad. Mm -hmm. The next 30 is a question and answer where our local and people that are not from Belize will be able to ask questions. So it's an educational tool for inside the country and outside the country. And it's an access tool for both inside the country and outside the, uh, inside the country and outside the country as well. We want that meshing of two, two, two worlds coming together. What are we doing to, uh, to, to fish out those who are out of the country uh, that would like to be a part of this uh, webinar? Well, they can sign in, if, if, if I understand the question correctly. They can just tap in through Zoom. Um, they, they, they have the different seminars that are available. And if you hit uh, register, it allows you to go in and then just send your information. And then um, uh, you'll be able to, 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 to join. Uh, and be a part of it. And I, I, it's really important that all Belizeans, even if you're loosely associated with the industry, but if you are an industry professional, if you call yourself an industry professional, you have to be on these calls. Yeah. Um, again, this, this is the first week. So I'm, I'm trying to build up. We're hoping that, that, that it builds up an audience, but it will be beneficial to all those that are tapping in because Belize, I guarantee you, the jobs are coming. And so where do you see the most potential for opportunities for us here in Belize? Production companies that can sort of, you know, do a little bit of everything. So the first thing I would say is, is, is the remote scouting locations. Yes, yeah. Now, we had at last year's festival, we had the uh, group from international locations uh, managers uh, of America come to uh, to the country and give a little uh, uh, seminar. Mm -hmm. We are joining that uh, that group. Okay. So we are a part of their platform already. So I would like to see us establish at least five solid location managers. Mm -hmm. As the industry grows, we're going to sort of get rid of this term, what we call the fixer, because fixer kind of is, 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 a, is a phrase that jack of all trade. Yeah. Mm. What I want to be able to create in this industry are masters of a specific trade. So I would love to have five great location managers. And a location manager can just be an expert for one district. Yeah. So that, that would be my first thing. And really it's kind like of the person who knows the location the best. So if there's a particular need, they'll right. be able to. So if you need a blue tin roof house, they'll know where to find they it. They know exactly yeah. where it is. Right. Yeah. Um, the next thing I would like to do is really develop casting directors. Hmm. Because that is a post that a local should be able to do. Okay. Because... You're, you're, you know what's what's going on. You know the people. Yeah. So we just need to set up the platform so way that it can be done how it's done on the international level. Yeah. But yeah. that's a great industry for someone here or some some folks here, some companies here to take advantage of. Yeah. The other one, script supervisor. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I truly need some locals to become interested in being script supervisors because those are jobs that travel. So as a Belizean, if you're a good script supervisor, you can go outside of the country. You can do, those are great paying jobs that go beyond these, our borders. But yeah. especially when a production company comes in country, mm -hmm. I want them to use a local script supervisor. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I can go on, but yeah. those are some things that definitely people can tap into and, and, and take advantage of makeup. So what I hear our, from our you makeup is... artists. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Our, our makeup artists are growing here, yeah. but a few years ago, not that, that that's a great example. A few years ago, 
we had a few and they were like sort of casual makeup folk. Yeah. But now we have a, a, a solid number of specific movie production or, or, or a media production type of makeup makeup yes. folk. Not only that you do regular makeup, but yeah. do special effects. Yeah. Do, do certain things that, that, that our industry needs. It, it makes me feel proud that I can tell a production, well, you don't need to bring uh, makeup a makeup artist. person. Yeah. We have capable people right here. You don't need to bring grip and electric. We have capable people right here. Yeah. Those type of things as a commission, when I go out and speak or when I push Belize, that's ammunition. And everybody needs to have their guns loaded when they're competing. Because like I said, we as a country, as a small uh, um, uh, commission or, or as a small industry, we need to take every advantage that we can. Yeah. You know, and, and I think we're in a really unique time, um, and, and we know that there's unemployment uh, due to the um, total shutdown of, of the tourism industry. Are there opportunities for people who have no film experience, people who can be able to, to um, translate the skills from the, tourism, from the hospitality sector into possibly assisting in production? Yes, they are, because you're, you're, you're talking about an industry, and if you can follow bylaws and protocols of one industry, you can transfer them over to, to the next. And especially within um, the film industry, because they sort of, lines are sort of blurred anyway, because when you say film industry, you're already touching on hotel industry, you're touching on restaurants, you're touching on cab drivers, you're touching I, I think it's it's one of the few industries in this country or in the world that actually can touch each segment of our business um, platform or our business landscape. That's the beauty of building this. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we build it properly, it will be beneficial for us for years to come. And 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 again, it's like we're getting a restart. Everybody has to restart. Yeah. So no, no longer are we playing catch up. Yeah. But Leeds has an opportunity to be at the front of the line. Uh, what about equipment needs? Uh, many years ago, we used to talk about the fact that some of the high level equipment um, wasn't readily available yeah. in country. Yeah. Um, and so that was an additional cost for people who were interested in, in filming um, on site in Belize. Uh, has that improved? Will that be an area perhaps that um, this new norm will allow us to to, to uh, get over that obstacle? Yes, and, and to, to answer to the first part of your question, yes, it has improved. Yeah. Has it improved to the numbers that I would like it to? No, it hasn't, but that's something that we're working on because something like that takes a, a financial commitment. Of course. So we have few folks in country, one in particular young star that has made that commitment. Mm -hmm. And I hope that there, there would be more. But that, 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 that's part of the growing, uh, the growing pains that, that, yeah. that we have. Now, as soon as people see activities, stuff happening, that's why I was saying this year was a pivotal year for us and we were starting to make those strides, but it, it will come back. Mm -hmm. um, there are investments out there. There are people that want to come in and that's the other part of, of, of this webinar. It shows that, that our investors that we are still here and we are ready to pick back up where we left off. Yeah. They just want to see that 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 the lease hasn't gone anywhere. So yeah. those plans that were starting to happen can kick back up because as like they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. Yeah. The lease just needs to be a part of the show. Well, Absolutely. I'll tell you what, I, I, I think I think that uh, especially of uh, what's going on, we've seen we've seen a lot of people being very creative. We've seen a lot of people actually stepping out on a limb, doing some new things. There's yep. so many ways you could get some new ideas, and the, the World Wide Web is right there. And this is a perfect example, especially for those who would like to be a part of, uh, you know, a, a part of the film, the film industry. Uh, which leads me to ask the question, uh, especially for the for the show today. You say it's the in the webinar today. It's starting at 10 o'clock, right? 10, 10 o'clock Belize time, yes. All right, so 10 o'clock Belize time, how can we sign up? Uh, and, and do I have to be in the film industry to do this? Or I could be just brand new? Uh, do I have to pay just to be a anybody, part of it? What do I have to do? If, if you have an interest, a possibility of that 
you think, well, maybe this is something that, that, that I would like to be a part of, mm-hmm. I would say tap in. And it's, it, they are advertising for the, for the, uh, for the webinar on Facebook. Yeah. Um, if you just tap in and like I said, the, the, the name will come up and you just touch on the, the, the first photo, which is for June 3rd. And that, that will allow you, that platform will allow you to sign in. Mm. And, um, we are all storytellers. I, I say this all the time. We're all storytellers. And Belize has some of the most amazing stories that yeah. haven't been heard yet outside yeah. of our country. True. It's yeah. up to us to control the narrative on how that, that story is told. Yeah. So it's imperative that people that, that, that want to tell their story. And, and man, I, I can't tell you how much how many times a week people come up to me, hey, I have a great idea for this. I, you know, <laughs> they want it to be told. Oh, we so, have a lot of idea creators. I think people just want to know how um, yeah, to bring it to life. And so, you know, a webinar, um, one of the benefits of, of this is it just makes, it's so accessible, you know, whether it's on your phone, whether yeah. it's on your computer, whether you're at home or at work, um, you still have the opportunity to join in. It's not like you have to travel somewhere to go get this knowledge. This, yes, and, and, and we're bringing, bringing it to you free. And, yeah. and these people that will be on the webinars uh, with us over the next couple months are experts. And, and I want people to come in and tap in and ask the questions because once this thing starts to roll, and, and mark my words, once this thing starts to roll, it's going to be too late. Yeah. yeah. Because the, 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 the thing is, somebody's going to take a chance, and, that, and that's basically someone will take a chance on us definitely we have to succeed that first one because when we do this industry is the biggest word of mouth gossiping industry so if they say man those cats in Belize have their stuff together (laughs) they did this this and that yeah i'm a producer in my little circle everybody's looking for this most seamless opportunity the easiest way to transition from a to b and if we allow that to happen here in Belize, we will benefit more than anything, man. more than anyone else in this region. That's, that, right. that's guaranteed. Yeah. So just one final question from me. When you, when you look at the landscape of, of how people have adjusted during the pandemic, um, how much of it do you think, you know, there's this thought that once you, once you show people um, a different option, they may never want to go back. Let's look at uh, late night shows being produced from at home. Um, you had major uh, entertainment shows being produced from at home. Yeah. Um, you have, uh, in the news industry, you have people broadcasting from home. How much of these uh, changes in the general media do you think are probably going to stick? If, if I could give you a percentage, um, maybe 40%. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe that we will, eat, like when the pandemic has uh, past us or we have control over it, I don't believe we'll stay how we are because people need to interact with people. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, and this goes beyond our, our industry, but part of the joys that you hear people talking about or, or what they miss beyond just work or paycheck is the interaction that they have with their, 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 their workmates, their common yeah. work. That's needed for a healthy society. Now, you will have options and that adjustment will will be based off of each individual com- uh, company or business. Yeah. So I, I think that they, they will take the, the, the good things out of what has, has come on us from necessity. But I don't think the system was that broke where they would just throw it away and this is just a new way of operating. No. Nice. All right. All right. So of course, uh, the webinar happens at 10 a.m. today. Um, and people just have to go online on the Film Commission's page and uh, they'll get the link to the Zoom meeting so that they can join in and listen and learn. Thank you for joining us, Nigel. Thank you so much and uh, appreciate your work and continue what you're doing. You You guys are awesome. All right. 
And there you have it. The one more opportunity to take advantage of the webinar series. It'll happen weekly. Mm -hmm. Today, they're talking about managing the expectations for film productions. Mm -hmm. uh, just because uh, there's a pause right now in that industry doesn't mean you don't take the opportunity to prepare. Definitely. And I'll tell you what, and this is uh, final on my behalf. Uh, taking a pause simply means that we're seeing a bigger picture, or we are able and we're capable to see a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. This could be the start of a beautiful thing for us. All right, so we're about to take that break. Uh, there we go. When we come back, it's actually about Belize Learn, an online platform for professional development. So stay with us. We'll be right back. This COVID update was brought to you by Foltech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service.